Tan Marani, Dumelang, Mulweni Kuya Nant, hello. It's you and Spit, and we're back with another video. What are we doing today? Black Coffee is caught with a new love interest. Mmm. Mzanti is divided. Mmm. Well, let's just check out this clip here first, and then you tell me what you think about this. Okay. So, what are your thoughts? I'm happy the guys moved on. Mm -hmm. She's beautiful. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she's really, really beautiful. It's so South surprise. Africans have been drawing comparison between obviously this new girl and ancient Bali. Some how do you compare though? That's a bit some different. some are saying that uh, Black Coffee fell off. She's this new girl is not as beautiful as Andre. And then Jesus. some are, and then some are saying uh, why does Black Coffee have to get a ten out of ten black woman? But when it comes to a white woman, she, he gets like a seven or something, you know, something. Are you serious? She's not a seven. That lady is pretty. Mm -hmm. I feel like we're also just mad, man. You know what I mean? And why do we have to have this comparison? They're not together anymore. He had it and it didn't work out. They're moving on with their lives. That's my point. Mm -hmm. So he's bound to find somebody else. Whether she's better or not, then it should that should not matter. I feel like we're reaching though by saying that she's. A, I'm not also saying that Nundi is like they're not in the same league or like oh she's way better than Nundi or whatever. I'm not saying that, but I feel like we're reaching by saying oh Nundi is a ten and this Nundi is a ten and this chick is a seven or whatever. That's a reach. That woman is beautiful. Like, yes, but but in, in terms of the, right. in terms of like white girl standards, she's not last now, and that's the problem. I bought honestly, number. man. How can you get last number black girl and then you go for like an above average white girl? You know? Get so you can't fall in love with someone, you have to go find this hair now that is gonna satisfy South Africans. So basically, you can't happen to meet somebody in a circle of people and fall in love with them. You have to be like, oh no, I can't be with you because South Africans are gonna say that no. I'm not with a 10. No, no so, that's so, rubbish, so, man. So, so the argument here is that black coffee fell off no he did not he fall off, off. Right? that is a beautiful woman it's a beautiful woman nonetheless but people fail to understand that it's not just looks that exactly uh, that, that will maintain a relationship exactly black coffee is probably happy with the girl yeah he probably likes her very much Yay. and she's still good to look at absolutely you know? so it's a win-win okay. but I'm gonna play devil's advocate okay. and say, mm. I'd say he kind of fell off a little bit, just a little bit, what? not too much, but he fell off. You know? Nah, I mean, it's like it's like it's like it's like a girl dating a rich guy and then going back to dating a nine to five guy. You know what I mean? It's like that. That's mm. that's what it looks like. So mm. as a as a as a guy, as guys generally know. Because maybe he's realized that a, a rich guy isn't all that and isn't what you need. It, like that guy's money isn't all that you need there's a lot more to a woman yes but outside, or a lot more to a man but from the, outside, from the outside perspective you fell off guys know that if you dated somebody pretty you must you must always aim to date somebody prettier or we know this but what it's, if, it's innate what if he right? she is prettier to him no i doubt it but it's innate like in us guys that we always try to one up our ex and date somebody better or prettier right but in some cases, when you dated somebody who's like a 10, it's very difficult to yeah. find another 10, mm -hmm. which will make you happy. Well, like, I feel like it's just another case of, oh, here's another successful black man going for a white woman. And then we want to be mad. We always will be trashing them in any case. But it seems, it, like, don't you think, don't you think like it's a trend now? Because you also saw when I told us my auntie got traumatized. It's like no, yeah. he's staying away from black women. Which I understand why they're doing that. Like as a black woman myself, I'm understanding why they're doing it. Really? Mm -hmm. Very much. So there's also another post going around. You know, Chris Excel. Chris Excel always advocates for men to date white or to date away mm. from black. Mm. And he was saying that he's got less stress now. He doesn't have to worry about lobola. He doesn't have to worry about GBV accusations. Yeah. He doesn't have to worry about the typical things that uh, come typical with, things that you, exactly. come with black women. So like that's some introspection that we as black women just need to do. Instead of just being mad at you know the the white girls or be mad at the at the guy for going for you know a white woman. If if our standards were higher and we were just better human beings or like 
at, at our best i don't think black men would feel the need to mm-hmm. go outside mm-hmm. so that should tell us something we we'll see something is shutting here something is not 100% mm. you understand so i don't blame them i really don't blame them now we want to also dictate their standards on how mm-hmm. those were no just stay out of it just shut your mouth you know stay out of it so my final point is this that okay Anton Valley might be a 10 but even though she's nice to look at mm. what if her, what if he looks at it and he's like Ugh. yes that's what i'm saying so so there's this story that i wanted to share right mm-hmm. so there's this guy that i knew in high school yeah he used to date like pretty women all the time yeah and then whenever he was asked like why did you break up with this girl she's so pretty yeah. whatever he would say that after a while you get used to her you get and used to her, exactly her, and her beauty doesn't fade doesn't anymore. fade so then now you're dealing with the character exactly and not the actual beauty. the beauty thing only matters when you're courting the person or whatever oh mm. ooh, that's nice but when you start being with the person and when you start living with them and you start realizing that ha ah, no man i'm with a monster here that beauty doesn't even matter inside you'll probably even be wishing dating the ugliest chick you've ever seen than dating that that's why they say don't choose a wife because of beauty because beauty will fade and and that's true that's true the point is never marry for beauty like that's not the number one thing because character is what you're gonna live with all of your life so yeah the point is you might be pretty to look at but you might not be nice to date or be exactly like, so yeah maybe black coffee just saw that and it's like and i feel I'm we not. had glimpses of how nk is bruh yeah, yeah. We, in the post breakup and all of the drama that was going on we had glimpses of what the poor guy had to go through so at that point i don't blame him where he stopped if he stopped being mesmerized with that beauty in fact beauty probably became something that he wants to probably run away from because it will remind him of an endless you know what i'm saying like he's probably traumatized but in the same breath this woman is pretty and i feel like maybe she's got more to offer than what it's ever could so say. so do you think do you think he took the stance of like okay i'm not dating black girls anymore or is it just i don't think so. so i think because it's the circles that he's around like he's not here a lot he's overseas all the time and i feel like because his music is listened to by a lot of white people more than black people i'd say like he's proud he's very white he was kind of bound to always be around them and then sometimes you fall in love with this because they're always like within your space and you get to know them and you get to like them rather than shopping around for a beauty and be like oh i want you and then you know so i feel like it was a situational time because they out with friends and stuff so maybe they hang out a lot so it was those situations i think it was kind of a situation like that i mean what about the girl you think the girl is just dating him because he's famous or you think no I, I think she's got her own isn't she a model bro i don't i don't think it, it's i feel like also she's dating because he it, uh, the fact that he's bread coffee helps the situation okay mm-hmm. if he was a nobody i don't think he'd even be in the crowds you understand but i do feel like it does go a, a bit of a step further maybe that's what, like i was saying with her case i feel like they probably known each other in the circle and anyway guys it is what it is man you guys let us know what you think about this situation mm-hmm. let us know don't forget to like subscribe thank you for watching bye we'll check you guys on the next one